Hey there, beloved Evergreen English class. So, uh, just real quick uh, to review some grammar things. Uh, you did get a paper on objective and subjective pronouns. Just want to talk about some pronoun issues. So we're just going to go through these slides and then you're going to complete the worksheet to make sure that you are perfectly good on this. And then you won't need to count on Grammar Check or Grammarly apps and those kinds of things you will actually know. So here's a little comic there about pronouns and parts of speech. And being able to proofread your own work is a really important skill. So let's say we've got a couple of ladies, they want to chat. And one says, if you were Madame Forestier, I would not ask for your diamond necklace. Maybe not, but you've asked to borrow my bicycle, so it's the same thing. Take a look at their statements and see if you can notice the grammatical mistakes. Yes, very common mistakes we see in the left dialogue, your, and in the right, the its. And of course, what should they be? Should be the possessive your and the it apostrophe s, because we want to use these correctly, and these are commonly misused. So these are confusing pairs of words for some people, and sometimes it's the difference between an apostrophe or not an apostrophe, but it totally makes a difference. So make sure as you go through high school and life that you know the difference between its and its, there and there, and the other there, 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 and there, <laughs> whose and whose, and your and your. And I did put some of these on your common mistakes list that I gave you and should be in your binder and you should be using. I hope it's not just collecting dust, nor do I want it framed with neon on your bedroom wall. I want you using them. So let's clarify the categories. We have possessive pronouns. It's, their, whose, your, according to our categories that we've been practicing. And there's pronoun contractions. It's, their, whose, your, so it apostrophe s is it is, they are, whose, who is or who has, and you are. So we got to know these things. We got to keep track of them because you are in high school now and you want your writing to be academically sound. They're going to read other Guy de Maupassant stories. Their teacher has a book of his complete short stories, right? So that looks good, right? We have it correctly used. And you want to do the same in your life because you don't want to shame your family nor your English teacher. Aha, there is the answer. Okay, so make sure you open up and print out the worksheet that goes with practicing these. There are two sides, two pages to it, and we will be talking about the answers to this later on uh, next time. Have a good week.